First, I want to say that what I'm going to talk about here is really scary. And I would like people to pass this information around. Again, you don't have to uh, mirror or favor this. Just, you know, maybe do your own videos about it or ask other people to do videos about it because we really, really need to get the word out on this. Because if this happens in Michigan, um, you know that the fundies are going to try to get it passed everywhere. And I'll leave the link to the Huffington Post article below. And it looks like Michigan may pass the worst, most constrictive anti-abortion bill ever. And um, what's really scary about this is that this uh, would criminalize all abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy without exceptions for rape victims, the health of the woman, or in cases where there is a severe fetal anomaly. It would require health centers that provide abortions to have surgery rooms, even when they don't provide surgical abortions. Uh, it would provide. It would require doctors to be present for medication abortions, and to screen women for coercion before providing an abortion. And it would create new regulations for the disposal of fetal remains. <clears throat> now, I, I read that last little bit right from the Huffington Post, but here's here are the really scary points without exceptions for rape victims, the health of the woman, or in cases where there is a severe fetal anomaly. There are no exceptions for rape or for the health of the woman. That is the scariest part. Uh, apparently it would pretty much stop abortion in the uh, state of Michigan. And it's expected to pass the House this afternoon. Thursday. Oh, and another scary part about this is, is that they they pretty much cut off hearings. Um, let me see if I can find this part here. I can't find it right now. But basically, the uh, when they started hearings on it, oh, here it was. It says it was introduced last week, but lawmakers held a hearing for it on Thursday morning and are sending it to a full vote on Thursday afternoon. Okay, so they introduced the bill this morning. They're going to send it to a vote this afternoon, which gives you very little time for public comment or uh, anything like that. And I I don't know what the laws are like in Michigan, but this, um, this seems kind of funny to me that they're not allowing any, any public comment or any hearings or anything. And it basically says that a bunch of people showed up to testify against the bill, but the committee chair, Gail Hines... A Republican, of course, abruptly ended the hearing and cut off all testimony after a Michigan Right to Life spokesperson and only a few others were able to speak. <clears throat> so what they did is they controlled the, you know, I'm kind of pissed, so excuse my, you know, stammering around here. You know, they controlled all comment. They let the people who are against, who are for the bill and against abortion speak, they're not letting anyone else speak. And I, I just find that appalling. And, and I'm, I don't know if that's legal. I guess maybe it is. If, but you can't tell with the Republicans. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's just horrible. You know, Michigan, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, the people from the Upper Peninsula are called Upers for UP, Upers. The people in the Lower Peninsula of Michigan are called Trolls because they're underneath the bridge that, uh, which I can't remember the name of, that uh, crosses the Upper Peninsula with the rest. And it seems to me that the trolls are ruling in Michigan. Um, so I haven't seen the actual text of the bill. I'm going to search for it and see what it says. But please, please, folks, pass this around. Let everyone know. This is, this is just horrific, um, especially since they're not allowing exceptions for rape or for the health of the mother. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Bye.